you want to adjust the tooling so that it i just making a video bubby boy what are you doing ah! <laughs> standing around focus damn you so uh you'll adjust the uh knurling tooling up and down until you get a nice pattern like that so first step in knurling something ha i love you too bubby all right so we've got started knurling uh, this is a power feed so i'm feeding the the tool very very slowly now i'm cutting a little bit of the bottom knurl deeper than the top right now and i'll go back through and i'm going to do two passes on this um, you can do multiple passes on a knurl and you really get a knurl as as deep as your tooling will allow so it's limited by the depth of the a groove in the tool, the knurling. So let's take, for instance, uh, the depth on this would be an extreme knurl. So you can have knurling as deep as that groove before you uh, base out your knurling tool. And then uh, let the power feed work. You've got a clutch mechanism over here on this machine that should you put too much pressure. Right now we're running about 3,000 pounds of pressure on that tool. And we will stop at the mark, let it burn in a little bit. So whenever I stop at the mark, I actually stop the power feed let the thing clean up that line make a really nice line there now this is you'll see one groove more so than the other we'll cut those in i'll adjust the tool a little bit we'll cut the other side in uh, you'll see what i'm talking about i've readjusted the tooling so what i've done is i've dropped it a bit i tend to do this because cutting both sides at once can sometimes be a little bit hard on the machine and it just doesn't, a lot of times, for me, on this machine, produce the best neural. So, here's what you're gonna have after you bring it on out. So, see if I can zoom in here a little bit. Ooh, that's way too much. Focus, damn you. Anyway, that's, uh, that will be the knurling that you will have with two passes this way. And uh, you can get, you can bring it out just a little bit more. I'll probably do one more pass on this one just to uh, peak it just a little bit more. But anyway, but that is a, a really nice feeling knurl. Moving on to the next section of the bar here. Now, something, a concept that I'm thinking about doing that I think, uh, I think Texas power bars are rolled this way, is you have uh, two opposing pieces on your lathe here. So instead of, I've got a top and a bottom knurl going at the same time on this. So there is a wheel here, and then there's a wheel that you can see on the top. Uh, so it's more weldy bits. It's a TIG welding. Not great at TIG welding, but I do enjoy trying. Um, so what they do is they have an opposing piece here that pinches this piece at the same time. And uh, I'm always fighting a little bit of flex in the bar. So with like uh, power lifting bars, there's more flex. And I think what they're doing is they've got two opposing wheels that they're uh, pressing, putting pressure on the bar from opposite sides at the same time. Now, I've got some concern over that if I don't put some, like an idler or something up here to do it, but then you're looking at needing to do the neural in one pass. It's either one go or you're done because you have to have something, in my opinion, probably to stabilize this. I don't know. It's a, it's a concept I'm gonna play around with in the future, but until then, this does really well. I enjoy it and does a great job. I think one on both sides may be faster if you could knurl in one go. But then again, it may not. 
may not produce as good of a neural. Uh, got Kai over there. He's uh, welding up some grip machines. And that's our puppies you hear right there. I uh, just got a new Doberman. Her and uh, her bull mastiff is uh, trying to learn to get along. They ain't killed each other yet, so there is that. Now nah, they're getting along pretty well. The first couple days was rough. Uh, so we'll have a quarter inch ring here. Be 32 inches uh, from uh, inside to inside. And then uh, another uh, about four and a half inches over here and that way it'll keep the neural off of the J cups. So, heck yeah. But yeah, that's an idea. I'm, I'll have to make that. There's a scissor neural where it pinches the bar, but I've played with those before and they go on the top and bottom and pinch and I bend the crap out of those. So that's why I like if I mounted it uh, here on the saddle, I think it may work out but anyway they've knurled like this for probably 75 years well she's done just welded these up they're hot so i welded on uh, these block bearings here so that whenever you spin it you can weld it and turn and uh, here the gnarly bit. Camera angle changes up the way that they look. There she is. Knurling's weird. Camera angles change the way that it looks. Like you can put it at a different camera angle. It looks slightly different because of the way the valleys run. Anyway, I think knurling is like one of those things. It's it's kind of beautiful to look at. But hopefully you see how it's done. I like it. Uh, this bar we've got. 32 inches from uh, the inside of this ring here to uh, the inside of this ring here. Let me zoom out. Inside of this ring here is 32 inches. Uh, the space here in between the uh, the neural center neural is uh, six inches per side, six inches in between. Uh, I got four and a half inches here for, that's still hot, for uh, the J cups to set on. So anyway, get it coated up, get it on its way to you. Uh, happy birthday, take care man. Appreciate the work, appreciate the patience with uh, getting this turned out to you as well. Take care.